Hey, Sneaky Lens Mate tonight. Tonight we'll have a quick run through of VirtualBox as requested by somebody. They didn't know how to use it, so I thought you'd have a really quick garden how to use it. Not really intensive, so we're going to open it up. Here we are down there. Oracle VM VirtualBox. I'm being nice to Oracle at the moment. As you can see, I've already got one in there testing at the moment anyway. But we're not going to use that one. We're going to use a different one. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to go over here and click New. Then we're going to go and click Next. And read through the bump if you want to. If you've never used it before, always read. You know, read the manuals. Click Next. Okay. Then put the name of the distribution you're going to use. Now, for example, I'm going to put Tiny Core here. Now, the latest one, so 3.2 release candidate. That's Linux. That's good. And now, what version? It's not Oracle, is it? But it's other Linux. So that's okay. It's enough other Linux. Yeah, that's cool. Click Next. And then we get to the next screen. How much RAM do you want to give it? Well, I'm going to give this one 512. It gives me enough to use. That's fine. So just type in 512, and that's your RAM. Okay. Next, I'm going to create a new hard disk, especially if you want to install the distro. You would really need to do that, don't you? So we click Next, and Next again. A dynamically expanding storage is the one you want to use, as it doesn't eat up all your memory or all your disk at once. Now, it suggests 8, but I'm just going to use 3, because TinyCore doesn't need anything at all, really, apart from a big swap file I've got an old machine. So finish and finish, and that's the first bit out of the way, really. So there we have it. Look, tiny coils on your screen. We're going to change some settings. So first we'll go to General, click on there, and I'm going to go to Advanced, and then I'm going to turn off the full screen mini toolbar, because it gets on my nerves. Then go to System. Right, we're going to turn off the floppy here, because we don't use a floppy, do we? No. So CD is the first boot, hard disk is the second boot, so that's cool by me. Turn off the clock and, and the point device. I don't use them, so I've turned them off. Display, that will do for what we're going to do, but you may want to change that if you're using a different distribution. And if you go to the empty disk bit, now if you're doing it from an ISO you've downloaded and not actually burnt to disk, you click here, you go to where you found it. So I've got to click Add, Mine all in Downloads, of course. And there we are, Tiny Core 3.2 RC runs there. You click Open. Open it up, and select that because that's the one we want to use. OK, click OK again. That's sure all done, really. That's nice and all done. Yeah, should we start it? Yeah, let's go. You click on Start. The machine starts up. We open the box up wider. As you can see, Tiny Core starts booting. No problem. So there we go. It takes between 5 and 15 seconds, all depending on your machine and how much RAM you've given it and what your CPU is, etc. But there we go. Tiny Core in a virtual machine on your machine. Now it's called a virtual machine because it's inside your own computer. It's a virtual machine. It says what it does on the tin, so it's self-explanatory really. But as you can see, everything will work fine as if you've actually installed it or ran it on a real machine. Which is better sometimes than running off a live CD, because otherwise the live CD is spinning and spinning and spinning and it takes ages and things go wrong. This way you can just actually install it inside the machine. Nothing will go wrong outside of it, don't worry. And it'll be alright. See, I'm going down all the stuff here in Tiny Core, download what I wanted to, CF disk, G part, I can download it all and do whatever I have to do to get it all done. So that's pretty nice, isn't it? So that's really all you need to know. That's a quick overview of how to do it. If the, there is other videos online that really really getting into it, but that's all really you need to know. And you shouldn't have any problems really when you think about it. No. So that's it. That's all I can say really. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna exit out of Tiny Core. Click exit. As you can see, I'm not doing any work, I'm not backing it up to anywhere, but you can do with this one. But I'm not going to do that for the time being. I didn't really want to do all that. No. So it's shutting down. There you go. Look. Bum -bidum -bidum -bidum. Process is coming to an end. System off. It's closed. That's it. All done. Now, if you leave it there, next time you come back to your virtual machine, you can just click start and off it will go and boot up again. And any changes you made will be kept there if you installed it. So that's enough from me. Sneaky Linux going out to play. See you later. Bye-bye.